Nick left for work this morning. He's gonna be at work for four days. <clears throat> I made this salsa, dude, it is so bomb. I can tell you how to make like the best salsa ever. And you literally don't have to buy salsa anymore. So it's pretty gloomy today. Uh, Harlow is up the street with our neighbor. I have to pick her up in like 50 minutes. So I just finished an unboxing and let me show you the mess over here. Such a freaking disaster. Today, next Nick texted me and I misread his text and it said that they thought they had an active shooter at a school nearby and he was literally like, that was about to be like one of the worst days of my life. And I was like, Ooh. I thought he said that they that there was an active shooter and apparently it was like a prank or something, but they were there in their engine, I guess, and um, in case it were real. It's just like, I could go on forever about this, but it's just really sad. It's just really sad. And it just sucks that like, people are just so evil. I've been watching um, Seeking, uh, Seeking Sister Wife or Seeking Sister Wives. And that show, like I did, I skipped the first two seasons and just went in for, just straight went into three. Cause I was like, oh, that's like old news. So I started watching three and I'm like, I'm like kind of addicted to it, almost like 90 Day Fiance, but it is like out of control. Like some of those people are just like unstable, like so, so unstable. we got some fun stuff happening this week. Tomorrow my mom is flying in in the evening. We're gonna go pick her up. And then my cousin and her kids and her husband are flying in on Monday. And then on Thursday and Friday, we are going to Disneyland. So I'm pretty excited. I haven't been to Disneyland since I, since like the day after I met Nick. Like our first date happened and then the next day I went to Disneyland. It was kind of funny because he texted me. He's like, what are you doing? Like the next day, like who does that? But he did. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm at Disneyland. And he's like, what? Why didn't you mention that? I'm like, you didn't ask. Like you didn't ask what I was doing. He's like, well, usually people tell you like when they're going to Disneyland. I was like, not if they don't ask. Not if, like, not if you don't ask me. Take a point. Take a point. I'm gonna clean the floors. I haven't cleaned them for about a week. We have swept in between, but I'm gonna show you something. This is not sponsored. I wish it was because I spent my own hard-earned money on this machine and it's not cheap. It's $198. I'm not trying to pitch it to you, but I am gonna show you. Actually, I'm trying to pitch it to you because like, I feel like you need it in your life. I needed it in my life. We have a lot of hardwood floors in our house. Okay, so this is it. I'm going to fill it, this up with a little more hot water. I don't use their solution because Fabuloso fixes everything and smells amazing, so I use this, but let's just see how dirty our floors are and what comes off of them. This, the cool part about this is it actually sweet, like it sucks everything up, like vacuums up, and then also like, mop, like you can vacuum real quick and then go back and mop and then suck up the water all at the same time. So it's like a three in one. <laughs> a little before. <laughs> you guys are ready for this. I have to empty this cause I'm still not done with my floor, but it's full. Uh, 
disgusting. There's all hair up in there. That's what we've been walking on. This is what Harlow would be crawling on if she was crawling. I'm gonna have to do this more often when she's crawling. That's disgusting. Oh my gosh, I'm dead. This is how I feel right now. Preparing some food for my tegu. We've got some carne asada and some lean ground beef. So I'm putting some gloves on because touching raw meat is pretty, pretty gross. Today's little OOTD. She's got her little amber teething necklace on. If you guys use these, tell me how you like clean them because her neck rolls get so dirty that I just can't imagine how nasty this necklace is gonna get. But she's about to not fit in this little outfit so I bought her. So we thought we'd put it on. It's got a little bow, the little flowers, and the little pants. They're so cute, huh? Do you think you can fit in your vans right now? Should we try them on? Let's try them on. They fit. Look how cute. <laughs> Maybe. Are you done with Walmart? All right, we survived. Look at the cart. <laughs> Send me money. Yeah. Oh, that's a heavy baby too. We're back from Walmart. I am about to make these right here. So I sent Nick this the other day. He got me white chocolate chips. We've got regular chocolate chips. Melt these down, it's like the easiest thing to make. I'll put the recipe in the description box below, but these are so freaking cute and we're catching up on 90 Day Fiance, of course. We are all ready for my cousin or husband to show up. Um, they're like driving back from the airport or driving here from the airport right now. We got the motorhome ready and by we, I mean my mom did all that, she set it all up. I need to go wash my greasy hair. We gotta change this little muffin, huh? Cause your onesie's all wet, is all wet? And they will be here soon. We are heating up the pool so the kids can swim. They've got three kids um, and they've never been here. So I think uh, they're from Oregon, so. Hopefully, hopefully they like it. All right, we're going to bed, but I've got Harlow's little outfit ready for tomorrow. It's so cute. Sizing is so bizarre. This says three to six months, and I swear this like is big enough to fit some one-year-olds. Are you tired, Pipey, from playing in a pool all day long? We just have fun. I have so many friends. I have so many friends. <laughs> what are you wearing tomorrow? Are you gonna wear sandals? You're gonna bring a pair of shoes in the car? Yep. You just won't be able to go on the swings with your sandals. You'll have to take them off and leave them on the side. Swings? Yeah, there's like swings that like go around in a circle like this. Like, um, 
No, I wouldn't want to go in those anyway. Those are lame as. They're actually really fun, <laughs> especially well, if you're drunk. <laughs> well, it is currently below watch. 6.45. We were supposed to be in the car on the way to Disneyland at 6.26. So exact numbers you ask, ways. We wanted to be there at 7.45. However, um, Nick slept with Harlow on the couch last night. Um, he hasn't done the night shift, maybe but twice. So he didn't realize that even though she seemed fully awake at two o'clock in, in the night, she would go back to sleep. So he slept with her on the couch and it was so nice of him to take the night shift. But I honestly was like, I looked at the monitor in the middle of the night and I'm like, the baby's gone. He hasn't been back to bed. So I came here, I'm like, what are you doing? And he was like, she was wide awake. I was like, that never, she always go back to sleep. Like she's almost five months old and not once has she not gone back to sleep. Anyways, so he needed to sleep a little bit longer. So the sun's coming out. I have been up now since the original time we were supposed to get up, having my coffee. And I don't know what time we're gonna leave. We finally left the house and then someone forgot their cell phone. Harlow, always forgetting her cell phone places. Uh, so we were like literally about to pull up. We got my mom over here. She's been wearing headphones the whole time or AirPods, so she can't hear anyone. She don't want to talk to us. <laughs> she doesn't want to talk to us. Um, so yeah, uh, I need a shot and a beer immediately. Um, and uh, yeah, my cousin and her kids are already in there and have been for a little bit, but um, we got like that genie thing, so hopefully we can cut a couple lines. I don't know. But we're gonna check in at our hotel later. We're staying here and then tomorrow. So today we're gonna be in Disney Disneyland and then tomorrow we're gonna be at California Adventure. All right, we're about to go on the first ride. Harlow's first ride, what is it? Pirates. are back home. I just put Harlow down for a nap. Nick just took my mom to the airport. I was selling a baby item on Facebook Marketplace, so I had to be here for that guy who was showing up. Um, and I just unpackaged something really cool I wanted to show you guys. This I just got um, delivered and this tray comes off so you don't have to have this on there, but Harlow has started like splashing in the water, which is like the cutest thing ever. So this um, securely like fastens into your bathtub. So I was like, I'm pretty sure she's outgrown the sink bathtub now. It's she like doesn't fit in anymore. So got this and we're gonna try it tonight to see how it goes. But hopefully she loves it. This is like a really good baby shower gift. I feel like because everyone buys you stuff for like newborn, newborn. 
and then you're just shit out of luck. <laughs> and by the time you need all of this size stuff, you don't even realize it, it just creeps up on you because you're trying so hard to just like be a parent and survive like the newborn phase. So I highly recommend um, if you have to buy a uh, gift for somebody, then this is something I would recommend. I guess I shouldn't put my full stamp of approval on it until we use it, but it has amazing reviews on Amazon. There is such a good breeze going on in the house. And if you can hear that, we're not even running the AC. So we installed, um, or we had installed a quiet, cool system. It is an attic fan. So basically you open windows and it sucks the air um, from the outside in and up through the vents and out of the house. And so like every time like Harlow shits herself and we go into her nursery and it's like smells terrible, like she, stinks up the entire room we'll flip that on open a window and you feel this like amazing draft it's also super awesome for um like if it gets really hot where you live like uh cooling down the attic because even if it's hot even if it's cold outside and you open all your windows and it's still 125 degrees in your attic from the day being really hot it'll heat up your house so um it's funny we bought like the wrong size fan for our house and so, or there's just some like issues up there getting it installed. And so Quiet Cool was kind enough to come out and like actually install it for us for free. And it's so nice. So thanks to Quiet Cool. I'll leave you guys a link in the description box below. Like this is so adulting, but it's like me talking about turf basically. But like this has been a game changer. I really wish we had this during summer, but it's pretty awesome. Um, what else? Harlow did super good at Disneyland. She she did so well like she she had a couple meltdowns but it was mostly because she was just super tired so we're trying to teach her to be able to like kind of sleep anywhere and she's doing pretty good at it but she does fight it and then gets grumpy but we had a really good time and now that we know that you can bring a cooler full of food and drinks in not alcoholic drinks but just drinks like water and stuff we're gonna add this attachment to our stroller or not our stroller our either our radio flyer or our veer slash tactical baby gear um wagon and it will hold the yeti on the back and so we'll just make all of our own food because the food at disneyland and the hotels there i can't even believe how much they were we got three martinis last night it was like 60 dollars i was like i'm sorry come again how, how much for three martinis and the dinner the night before that nothing crazy i didn't even have a main dish i had a soup and a side of mac and cheese our bill for three people was 300 dollars with tip i was just like so yeah pretty crazy anyways long story short um we're gonna bring it cooler next time so tip to you if you're going to disneyland and you live nearby and you have the ability to bring a cooler do that that's what we're gonna do but um, anyways, thanks for watching guys. Give this video a thumbs up if you're enjoying vlogs and you want them a little more regularly. I do enjoy doing them. Um, yeah, and that also helps my channel out. So I appreciate it. And I will uh, see you guys in the next video. Bye.